How's it going everyone? Welcome to a brand new week. As you guys can see in the title of this video, I'm actually going to be doing a Gymshark review on a bunch of their products because of the Black Friday sale that's going on. If you guys just want to see just that portion of this video, I will leave a timestamp right here and you guys can check it out. If not, I'm going to jump into my normally scheduled vlog. So if you guys are ready, let's just get straight into it. Well, good evening guys. It is day one of week three. It's been an interesting start. Let's just say that uh, a lot of things going on. My girlfriend's not feeling well, so I've been having to kind of help her around with that. Work went okay. I have to be at work really early tomorrow. I didn't get to work out this morning. I didn't work out tonight, so I guess today is my rest day. We're going to have to work out tomorrow night. I do get off early, so I'm going to try to do double workout. Maybe go for a walk and also do my work at workout. So <sighs> another one of those Monday blues. So we'll fix this. I'm not giving up on myself. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Hi, it's me again. You're gonna kind of see me jump in and out of this week's video to kind of give you some context of what was going on. So Tuesday morning, I woke up really early. I had to make myself some rice because I forgot to make it for my lunches and I wanted to make sure I brought food every day to work. So I did all of that. Once my shift was over, I had to head over to Target and pick up some grocery items for my girlfriend so she could have some food that she could eat while she wasn't feeling too well. I got out at around three o'clock, so that's where you're gonna kind of see me right now. Alrighty guys, so I got out of work a little bit early. It's around 3.45ish and I went into the kitchen. I made myself a marinade for my chicken, threw it in the fridge, and then I did a bunch of dishes just to kind of clean up a little bit. I'm now in the bedroom. I'm going to do my workout. It's gonna take about 35 to 40 minutes. And then my plans tonight is to make my chicken. I'm also gonna to try to see if I can bake off some granola for an acai bowl that I wanna make in the morning. If I make it, I'll show it to you guys. If I don't do it tomorrow, I'll probably do it the next day. And that's basically what I'm gonna to try to get done tonight. Uh, for my dinner, it's just gonna be chicken, green beans, and some white rice. So pretty straightforward. And uh, hopefully my girlfriend can start feeling a little bit better. Uh, she's been making some improvements, so doing well there. All right, so as you guys saw, I did end up making the granola. It tasted great. I did not make an acai bowl the next day or any other day after that. I just was really bad at waking up at a decent time in the morning to make the acai bowl. So I might make one later this afternoon. Um, after I made the granola that night, I actually did my Gymshark haul. So I'm actually gonna play that right now for you. If you guys just wanna skip that, that's totally fine. I will leave a timestamp right here.
Alrighty, so that was the Gymshark haul. Hopefully you guys liked it. I am not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. I have just kind of heard of Gymshark for a long time now and wanted to try out a few of their pieces because some of them are pretty decent price when it comes to workout clothing in general. Uh, I did have to create a return order though, so I did that uh, the same night and packaged everything back up. Then during my lunch break at work, I went to the post office, returned all the items that I needed to, and then I just had my normal chicken, rice, and broccoli for lunch. And that kind of wrapped up that day. So now that brings us to today, which is Saturday. Um, I want to be very transparent with you guys about this week. When it came to my eating, I was really good at all of my lunches. I ate every lunch at work and I felt really good about that. When it came to my dinners, I had a few meals at home because I was grilling and kind of making things throughout the week. But on a couple of the nights, I definitely ate out. We had uh, chicken fingers last night. My girlfriend had wings. Um, a night or two before, we ended up having In-N-Out Burger. And so not all of my eating was great. And when it came to my workouts, I think I only worked out maybe three times this week. So this was definitely not my best week when it has come to my diet and my exercise. And I feel like I lost my motivation just partly because of my job or my girlfriend just not feeling well and I want to just kind of focus on her. Or I just felt like I was not planning my time very well. So like I needed to do laundry and I was like, if I work out right now, do my laundry, things are just going to take a little bit longer. And so I just wasn't setting myself up for success. And I was kind of feeling bummed out and then I uh, discovered Steve Cook's Instagram. Uh, he's kind of on my feed. If you guys don't know who he is, he's a pretty big influencer. But he had a post where he mentioned that people keep asking him how does he always keep his motivation or feel you know, ready and pumped to always meet his workouts. And he always said that that was kind of a silly question because he doesn't always have motivation. He said what helps him reach his goals is by staying disciplined. And that really hit home because I've noticed from the first couple of weeks when I started this journey, I was really disciplined. I was telling myself I'm only going to be eating these foods. And I think that's something that I need to make sure I'm keeping at top of mind. I weighed myself this morning and I was at 211.3. So definitely getting better and closer to my weight loss goals. Um, I know last week I said I was at 214, I think again, um, at the end of the video. But to be honest, about an hour later, I went back on the scale and it said I was down to 212. So your weight is always going to fluctuate. I feel really great putting on this outfit from Gymshark. Um, I'm going to show it to you right now. Now, as you guys can see this outfit, I have never seen gym clothes fit me this well. I'm actually going to show you a picture right now of me um, in my normal workout outfits that I used to always wear. And then the workout outfit that I'm wearing right now, it makes a drastic difference. Now I know I'm not alone in this. I know a lot of us are kind of in between the weight range that we want to be at. We're not really as skinny as we want to be, but we're not really completely fat. And sometimes clothes just don't fit us that well. And then we just think, why should I buy clothes right now when I'm about to lose more weight? And I just think it's really important to kind of update your wardrobe as you're continuing in the journey because you'll start to see those physical changes. And I think you'll have a boost of confidence when it comes to the way you look. So I would say this actually was still a good week. I still lost weight this week as well. And I think that has a lot to do with me trying to manage how much I'm consuming and really trying to focus on eating as much healthy food as possible. So again, guys, 90% diet, 10% exercise. You guys can reach your goals. It is possible. You can do it. You don't have to do it alone. We are all in this together. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm going to end this video. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see you guys all next week for week four of this 60 day challenge.